All right, let's go over this. So, um, uh, like I said, is we got uh, the workspaces set up for you guys. Um, this is recorded. We won't go too long. I want these uh, sessions to be around 20 to 30 minutes tops, so you can review it on a weekly basis, and then uh, make sure all your settings are correct. Um, we did set up the workspace uh, for you, so you have the exact settings that we show in the live room. This is plug and play on any market, like I was telling you guys and gals. Um, you know, it works really well in the Dow minis, the Dow micro, uh, you know, if you get to trade the S&P, the Russell 2000, you know, whatever markets that you look at, um, the NASDAQ futures and uh, is what some of you play on higher time frames. So, you know, the two time frames that let's start out right now that I use is um, is a five and an eight Rinko bar. Now, I know some of you use uh, uni Rinko bars, which this is fine. It works really good with the uni Rinko bars. That's the standard ninja free Rinko bar. Um, we have a uh, Sim Rinko that I, I developed that works really well also, but this system can be used on other bar types. If you have a special bar type that you use, um, it will work on that bar type uh, depending on if it's a Rinko or what have you. I like Rinkos. That, that's, I prefer those. They chart really good. So the, the chart that you have that uh, the workspace is set up, um, you should see a five Sim Rinko bar with four days back. Um, that is the workspace that when you hit it to load it into Ninja, all these indicators will pop up automatically for you. So once you download the file on your computer, you just click the workspace and all this stuff is going to fire up automatically for you um, in the, um, in, just like we have in the live room. Uh, the workspace you're going to get additionally today is something that I really like in hot markets. What happens is if you don't get you don't get deep retracements in news markets like today, we had the CPI that came out and it went vertical south and the system caught it all the way down. So I'm going to show you how we enter those. Uh, we educate traders on um, on how that those are great potential uh, turning points, and then we're good to go. So uh, first of all, this is uh, when you get the workspace. This is what you're going to see. You're going to see a you're going to see a, a, an 8 sim Renko over here. This is an 8. You're going to see an 8 sim Renko. And then right here, you're going to see a 5 sim Renko with the zones. This has a zone in it over here. This has the 4538 zone. This has the 4538 zone. I'm going to show you how to put three zones on in a second, which you will get that workspace. Gerald completed it today. And um, that will be coming in the workspace also where you can get momentum trades uh, and you can get also chop trades. So um, so this is what it'll look like when you open it up. Behind that is our market profile. Um, if some of you in the room, I called out this bull flag that was as, as it was forming on this bar right here. I know Leo, you're in the room and I called this, I said, we need this to break the, uh, uh, sorry, the bear flag. We need this to break bear flag. And if we get it below the bear flag, we should see some really good ATR trades. And sure enough, it was an absolutely wonderful uh, um, move to the downside. A lot of you guys and gals that email me and in the room uh, were talking about how, how you got it. So good job. Um, this is a pattern inside a market profile that I saw. A market profile, very simply, is this. Is it, you know, we, we don't use a 30-minute market profile. Uh, Peter Stoudemire came out with it in 1985. Price profile, volume profile in 1994. We use volume profile. A volume um, is really, really special to me because it, it calls these break retest trades like this. Stopped almost to the tick on that trade on a break retest. I really like them. But as far as just trading the system wise, make it simple on yourself. If you're outside a low value area, as I was saying in the room today, the door opens up to the downside where we're probably going to get a big possible ATR run to the downside. Sure enough, door opened up, retested, and the market just tanked. So you can use market profile. You do not have to use market profile with the system. Um, I like to use it to catch trades like this. I could see it. You had a big hard down. Then price slowly went back up. That's a bear flag. It broke, and then she went. So, But the easy thing, if you don't know a lot about market profile, is if you're below the green, you're in a hard downtrend. You're above HVA, you're in a hard uptrend. So you can see how HVA contained price. Um, and then in flat days, a lot of traders, they play market profile. They sell the high by the low. But let's not get into market profile because that's just an added tool uh, for your ATR trades. You can trade the zone trades by themselves. So the zone trades, um, they, um, they help you out because they let you know what type of pullback we're looking for. Now, I'm, a, I'm a more of a volume guy myself, 
and I like uh, I like I like volume. I like when volume comes in because it tells me if we have a possible reversal in the market or a possible uh, a continuation. So what the whole strategy is based upon is this: if you have red dots, you're in a downtrend, a running ATR that's only looking for shorts. If you have a green dots, you're only looking for buys. And I, this is on short-term charts, the 5 sim, and the longer term on the 8 sim. So if we have red dots, you look for pullbacks. If you are pullback sells, if you're green dots, you're looking for pullback buys. The key is this. The safest part with this methodology and this algorithm, the safest part of the system, and Tina did what, 36 months back test on this, Tina? The results on these zones, I think it was 36 months on most of these these zones, they're very, very accurate inside the zone. So what we need to do is we need to look at looking at taking setups inside of the zone. So when we look at um, uh, these trades, you're, you're trying to see these green boxes form against overall ATR trend. What does that mean? These boxes are the key ingredient. This is something you're not going to find anywhere in the world. This is my proprietary program. I did not copy off this, anybody. This is not a copy program. This has no code from any other code. This is my, this is my original uh, boxes. So these are called my trend boxes or what I call volume spike boxes or volume boxes. What happens in the market is when you get these boxes that fire off, you get a big volume spike at certain highs or certain lows in the market. So they're big reversal points. Well, with the computer, uh, the computers we have today, it can do all these calculations that I want to do, and it will print when you get these big volume spikes into support or resistance. So what we can do is we can look for opposite color green speed bars against ATR trend. What that tells us is you're catching the wrongly positioned trader. So I named this a WPT trade. So these are what's called WPT trades. If you look at all the videos, they're catching wrongly positioned traders against overall ATR trend. So not only do we have the ATR that tells us the trend direction, we have the speed boxes telling us we have an exhaustion in price and we're looking for a reversal. So there's a rhyme and reason why this is so accurate and a lot of you guys and gals are doing so well in the room so and outside the room because this is not my opinion. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to Gerald. This is strictly order flow. So when these prices come up, these boxes come up, that's not me. That's not lagging indicators. That's not you. This is actually a big spike uh, in, in volume. We're getting a lot of speed. Everybody's hitting the ask. Counter trend traders are hitting the ask. A lot of it's coming in. So then we're looking for a reversal. Okay. So what you want to try to do then is you want to try to get at or inside the zone. These are the zone trades. These are the safest trades with the ALCO that you're going to have. These are the highest reward or risk trades you're going to get. So what you can do is if you're too far away, let's say you get one down here, that's too far away. You know, you're taking risk. You're taking a lot of risk because the zone is actually up here. So a lot of traders find this called, they call it relaxed trading because, you know, the zone can be, you're down here and you're looking for S&Ps at 89 and a half, but your zone's not all, it's all the way up at 97. And when I was in the room today, we were about eight points away. I said, there's a zone. Sure enough, as I said, 06 and what, three quarters? It came out to 06 and a half and then it tanked. So, you know, this is a leading indicator. This is not lagging indicator. These zones work really, really well. So what we have to do is we have to make sure we keep our stops in. So when we do get stopped out, the risk is small. So when we do pour ourselves in on, we, we see the ATR is printing red. It's going down, going down, going down. We have a zone sell here. You can pull yourself in. Now, a couple ways you can pull yourself in is this is that a lot of traders use the oscillator down. I call it the DS oscillator down here. Uh, what they'll do is they'll wait till you get below 20% with the magenta and they'll enter the trade and their stop loss. A lot of traders are using 12 ticks on the S&P or you can do a simple two ticks above the swing high. Once again, you come up here and you get a sell. You can get uh, the 20 DS. Now you can adjust this any, if you want it shorter or longer. A lot of traders want confirmation it's rolling over. Um, I'll show you a way you can get in a little bit sooner if you want. Some traders like to sell make limit orders inside the zone. You can do that and have a small stop outside the zone. But ma the majority of traders that uh, that's already been back tested, they're using the oscillator down here to pull them in when you go below 80 or above 
to pull yourself in with the overall trend. Okay, so that's a standard, that's a standard pullback that we have in the room that's on the workspace. All right. So those are standard. Um, on your chart to the left is an ATR. We have an 8 SIM Renko. This is where you look for trades with continuations. Now, these are supply demand lines. You don't need all this stuff to trade the system. You can simply have a couple charts up, an 8 SIM Renko with ATR dots and then a 5 SIM Renko with ATR dots and do just fine with catching these swings. This just gives you extra support and resistance to scale contracts if you want to. Um, but this is what I show in the room on your workspace. If you wanted to, you can, you can set up like this. Um, you can set up a momentum chart. Right? You can set up a momentum chart where it shows you strictly trend of the market. So you can do this, and then I can set up another chart. Now, this is the workspace we're going to send out also. This is an additional workspace. These are, this, these are all my ATR zones all put together. Let me show you how to do this now. So let's go back to yesterday morning and now go to today's trading too. Let's see, what is today? 10th, okay, let's go back. All right, so here we go. So what you can do is you can trade off two charts if you wanted to. You know, what, what I educate traders to do is set up a separate monitor and just use these two charts right here. This is your 8 Simrenko, which you have a workspace coming out to you with all my zones. And this is a 5 Simrenko with all my zones to pull you in. Okay, so you can have a small stop off the 5. Okay, so this is the new, uh, the added workspace we're coming out to you. So everybody has a standard workspace in their laps right now. They got a five Simrenko right here with a standard just pullback. Pullback 45% or 38 to 45%. Okay, works really well. All right. Now, if it closes, two candles closes outside of the ATR, by the way, we don't take trades. It's got to pull us in before it closes two candles outside. If it closes two candles or two bars outside, it, 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 there's no trade. We keep our stops small also. So if this, in other words, before I get to this other stuff, if this trade keeps going and pushes two candles close outside of here, the trade is off. Look for another setup. Okay? It's got to stay inside the zone. All right? So what we can do then is we can, so we have this already set up. Let me show you the additional feature I put in that can catch these moving markets. So what happens, let's go to yesterday and today, and you'll, you'll get the gist of why I, I gave you an extra workspace. What happens if the market gets hot with news or non-news? Here's what happens. So this is yesterday, right? Beautiful running ATR. Everything looks great, right? Well, we're trying to buy. We're trying to buy the pullback. We're trying to buy the WPT down here. We're trying to get into the zone, right? We want to get into the zone. There's no zone trades, right? The zone trades come a little bit later, which I'll show you. So what happens in hot markets is you never get into a deeper retracement zone. Now, a 38-45% is called my intermediate zone. I have three zones. I have a shallow, I have an intermediate, and I have a deep zone. So this is a standard intermediate zone where normal markets should just come down the zone and bounce right out of them. So in a normal market, market, it'll come down to it or up to it, and we'll just bounce off that level. We'll just keep bouncing off those levels like this. But in a fast market, if the market's moving too fast and we are moving hard up, or hard down, we never get these zones. So how how can you take advantage of it? Well, we know already that the five Simrenko does very well by itself with the 3845. All right. We know how to pull ourselves in. We know our stop. We know if it closes two candles outside of it, we have to pull ourselves out. What happens when the market is hot? So let's look at this morning. This morning, another example and I'll show you how the other works good. This morning, the market was hot. Oops, hold on, let's go this morning. A little bit here. There you go. Market was hot after C our CPI. What happens though is the market's hot on CPI. Market is very hot on CPI right here. Right after CPI got hit, my 5 sim ranking with my 38, 45%, it called it. I mean, we're right with the algos right there. 
it called my zone called the high at 8:30, right when the news came out called the high but you can't get into that it's not possible it's too fast and so i always tell traders wait a couple minutes two to five minutes and look for trades um then look and never hit our zone on the way down see so i'm trying to capture this part how can i capture this part when the market's just hot you can do that simply by looking at a putting all my ETRs on one chart. So keep this on your chart, on the workspace that you have. I educate traders, get another monitor, or you can squeeze it on your workspace, you can. You can fit it, fit it in there how you wanna do it. I'm just gonna show it in the room, I'll show you in a second how I'm gonna fit in the room. I'm gonna leave it in there uh, 24 hours a day. I'm gonna leave this chart on here 24 hours a day, and I'm gonna leave my momentum with all, four, all, all six of my ATRs on there 24 hours a day. And it's gonna run, run live on the ES. But, so this is your normal zone, but how can we capture this? What you can do, as we can tell here, let me show you here real quick. What we can do is we can look for shallow retracements. Now the shallow retracements, you can put an eight beside right there, eight beside to give you overall trend direction. You can literally trade off these two charts. So we can see that 8 sim is in a hard uptrend yesterday. Look at that. Just hard uptrend. Very, very hard uptrend. So that can give you trend direction right there by itself. We're trying to get to the shallow end of the retracement. Let me show you. So if you put all those on the chart, I'm not looking to buy these deep. I'm not trying to buy deep in here until after we come down inside of it. I don't want to buy inside of the zone when it first starts out. The market's hot. I don't want to buy in this zone because I'm not, I'm not looking for a deep zone trade. If the market's hot, what I want to try to do is I want to concentrate on this. When the ATR starts printing six dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's all three of my, or six of my ATRs printing. I want to try to look for a retracement to the top of the zone. This came within two ticks. This stopped right on to the exact tick. I want to see a WPT trade, a wrongly positioned traders caught with an opposite color speed candle. I want to catch those guys right there on the retest of the shallow retracement. Because what you're doing is, is you already know you're in a hard uptrend because I have my real deep retracement, my intermediate, and my short term. They're all agreeing, agreeing. If you're going to trade this type of setup to take shallow retracements, you must be all green or all red on all six. Let me repeat that. If you're going to take that type of retracement, you have to be all green if you're taking buy shallows or all red. So I'm trying to buy. It comes down this level. I'm trying to buy, pull myself in right there on the stochastic. Now, on the DS, you can, you can pull yourself in with a shallow or a deep. Shallow or deep. Here's another entry. You don't have to have a WP to get in. As long as you pull yourself in with the DS down here or any other pull and bar you want to use. Here it goes again. Look at this. It rides a shallow all the way up. So we never got a deep retracement. Almost stopped to the tick there. All the way up. See how that works? So what you're doing is you're not missing hot markets. You're catching these markets right there at a shallow retracement, but you're not taking a big risk on a shallow retracement. Why? Because your stop is still small and still the same as a deeper, deeper retracement. However, you're in a hot, hot market, right? Because all ATRs are agreeing that it's to the upside. That's a difference on trading a 45 or 38 to 45 zone and a 62 to 70 zone versus a 26 to 32. Now, if you don't have all these zones agreeing, you cannot take shallow trades you have to look for deeper retracement trades to these deep, which will happen afternoon this afternoon. Okay? So this chart is very, very neat. And like I said, we're sending the workspace out that this is already, already the settings are already done for you. All right? The best trade you're going to get is the WPT that happens right at the shallow retracement. It should come right down to the edge of that shallow ATR, the 2632. should come right down to it, and you should get pulled in right there, which you did. It stopped right on it. Stop right on it. Stop right on it. If you get the triangles that come with it, that's an added benefit because the triangles are just an added bonus on a retracement. Okay, that's the 62% retracement zone. 
Typically, it's a 62% from one swing or another swing. So when you get these, they just add a bonus. The key to this system to work the way it does is this speed bar and this these ATRs. Without that, we would be stuck in, stuck in the mud, right? That's why this system does so well because it's catching the wrongly positioned traders and off the color speed bar. They're really crashing down on the bid really hard. They're trying to counter trend trade the market. You get that big volume spike at the low, and then you start seeing this, these start moving back up. So that's the secret sauce of the system is these offset color speed bars into the ATR retracements, and it's with trend. So what happens when, uh, so let's go the day before, same thing happened, and now I'll show you a chop. So we had a hard move up. Okay, so what if, it, what if we're in a downtrend? Same thing. So this is a downtrend. I'll show you today. This is, this is yesterday's, but same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six ATRs. This is my 62 to 70% retracement. That's my golden ratio, or they call it the golden ratio, the 62%. This is my 38 to 45%, and then I'm 45 uh, ATR, and this is my 26 to 32. So once again, look where we're trying to – we don't want this to go back inside of the shallow retracement because we're in a hot market. We want it to stay outside of it. Right? We want to come up, stop right on the shallow ATR, and then give us the triangles and give us a pull in right down here on the DS. Now, on the momentum setup, I use the 8 DS to pull myself in on the indicator. I use the red. I do not use this one because it's a fast market. You're going to get a little bit of slippage because the market's moving fast. These are where you see the market move 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 S&P points. You're going to see a lot of them in this type of environment that we're in with interest rates and all that you know, and, and COVID and all this other stuff. So you want to pull yourself in with, here's another setup right there. You want to wait till the red goes below 80%, pull yourself in, stop loss two ticks above the swing high. Here's another trade. Red goes below 80%, pull yourself in. All right, so that's what I educate traders to do. You can do it your own way. You know, we just have, we give, we have the software for traders to give you the edge. You can, you can do it any way you want, all right? So if you want to tweak these setups a little bit, you can. I'm just telling you what works very well. So those are sell setup retracements, all right? So today what happened is we came into the market and the CPI came out, and what do we have? Where are you at, CPI? All right, here's CPI, right here. CPI came out. So the CPI came out right here, and we started running down. Now, you can't get this trade at 8.30 and 11 seconds. Well, some of you may if you're fast at it, but that's right at the zone. This is where we're in the room, and I was talking about this trade right here with everybody in the room. I said this is a sell setup right there is where it's a high probability trade to position yourself in the market, and it just went up to it. It hit it. The DS pulled us in, and it tanked. It was such a beautiful setup. A lot of traders were done in the first 15 minutes of trading, but you can see the low of that bar was 45, 50 and a quarter. So fill between 49 and three quarters, depending on your slippage, to 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half. You're looking at a nice push down. But the key is you're trying to get, you want it to stop right at this outer zone. You want it to because there's no support below us. Okay. So those workspaces were sent out to you with this. What, I, what I'm going to do in the room is I'm going to put it in here like this. This is a close. What happened, happened to close? A lot of you guys got this. You're talking about it at least. Look how it came up to the zone. I mean, this is not a small sell. 95 to 83. I mean, we're talking 12 S&P points. You know, beautiful. There's a DS got below 80%. Pulled you in the market. Stop above right there. Once you get, once you come up and it does not pull you in, what happens to the market is it likes to go up to the next zone. You'll see these erase, then it goes up to the next zone. You'll see a reaction off here, then you'll see a deeper one, and this was your outer zone. If you see this outer zone break, you're probably in a trend change. Looking for it to break out, come down to the green zone, and start an uptrend the other way. Let me show you where that did that today. Where's it at? So that's a sell. All right, well, let's look at this first. So. What happens in chop market? 
this is non-trend right here. So what happens? If I got, I have six ATRs right there. What happens if I got red and I have green below me? The market is what? Anybody want to help? What type of market is this? Anybody? What type of market is this that we're in? Chop City, right? So we don't want to, putting all the ATRs on there at once, it tells you where you're in chop too. Now, you can still trade the zone to zone. It goes zone, but I would wait till it comes down to the zone and you get pulled in. Come up to the high of the zone here, get pulled in. I wouldn't be trading the middle ranges. High of the zone, bottom of the zone, if you're going to trade chop. Sell the highs by the lows. So if you see that, make sure that you're aware of, aware of that. Now, this is this afternoon. Once again, you can see how we come right up to the outer ATR on the shallow. 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 Look how the 8DS pulls us in with a small stop. These are not small moves in the S&P, right? We're not using a real large time frame either. This is a 5 sim Renko. 5 sim Renko. All right, so that's the idea. If you get into a market like this, like I said, red above green, you're chopping. You're chopping back and forth. If you break out of that chop, what's it like to do? You break out and you retest that shallow zone. You get a WPT here. Wrongly positioned traders are now caught going short and then explodes to the upside on the other way. All right. These work really good. So number one, it identifies chop. Number two, it identifies major trend direction, shallow retracements. Okay. So you can use that to your advantage. So we got this out to you guys. Um, all the settings are already pre-programmed for you. You know they're already in the in the um, they're already in the uh, indicator. You know you can set up how you want. How I'm going to show the room is this. I'm going to use this chart. I'm, I'm not going to have that ESIM in there, but I'm going to use this chart. Let me show you. So here's our zone chart, our normal 45 percent zone, 38 to 45. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to put this one in the room. I'm going to leave it over here to the right. You only, I only like to use this chart for shallow retracements and it's show me when I'm in chop or I'll just use this standard chart all day long. Get a lot of good trades off this five sim Renko with the standard 3845. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this in here. So then you can see when the market's hot. When you want to pay attention to this indicator is when you got six all red or six all green. So if you have the eight, eight now these settings are already pre-programmed for you on the eight and the five. You, you, what you can do is you can change these to different markets. You can change these to different markets. You don't have to use just this one market. I mean, if you like the, if you like the Dow, if, if you like the YM, you know, you can put the YM up. It's the same type of method. It doesn't matter. It's the same type of method. You're going to use the same way. Right there is a sell on the Dow, sell on the Dow. Caught the high on the Dow there. There. Chop. Caught the high there. Caught the high there on the shallow zone. So you don't have to just use this. When the CPI came out this morning, does this react the same way that the S&P does? Let me show you. Same thing. We're trying to do the same exact thing. Where's it at? There you go. We're trying to have a huge short on the Dow this morning after news. This chart works really good after news. So what we're trying to do is right there. We're trying to look at that right there, that zone, shallow zone, because they're all printing. It comes right up to the shallow zone. Use the same pull-in technique. This is a 5 sim on the YM. Right there's your pull-in. Comes up to the shallow zone on the YM this morning. Same pull-in. Comes right up to it. There's your pull-in. So you can see it's not just the S&P. We're not cherry-picking trades on the S&P. You can cookie-cut this to all markets and fit it to what you like. All right, so we're going to leave the S&P in here. I'm going to leave this on in the room. Uh, I'm using uh, 70 and 62 percent. Um, the algorithm, this, the 
the strategy that I'm working on right now is 75 to 76 works a little bit better, but I got to do more testing on it, Veronica, and then we could switch it up to 75, 76. Feel free to use, guys, listen, I have 62 to 70, 70 in here, all right? My golden ratio, everybody knows, is 62 to 76%. You know, so you can, you can bump it up to that if you want. You can change the values in the indicator to what zone you want if you prefer that. Uh, we're four days back, four days back on everything. All right. So this is already set up, guys. Everything's set up for you. Now, the 8 sim. remember, we're looking for the same thing on the 8 sim. If, if you do want the 8 sim chart, you just want it to for trend direction. But when it comes down to the shallow zone, look at it fire off. Fire off. Fire, look at it fire off. These are not small moves. This is an 8 sim Rinko, for goodness sakes. This is 45, 47. All the way up to 4570. So 23 SP points. So if you see this on the 8 SIM and you want to just trade off the ATR by itself, that's hard trend up. You want to try to look for these shallow retracements. So I like the 8 and 5 SIM. They work great together. Those are my two favorite charts. That's what I like to see in the room. But all these are set up. If you use this, I'm going to leave this in here in the trading room. If you use that, Make sure your highest probability trade is going to be below all six red or all above green. If you get inside of these ATRs, what happens when this erases because it closes above it like it did right here, it typically will come up to the next zone and react. Then it'll come up to the next zone. It should call the high up here at this next zone. If it breaks by two candles outside of it, then look for a buy zone, look for it to retrace, and we should start a trend change. But what I like to see, the reason I have this chart on there, I want to see shallow retracements. I want to take trades where I know all the momentum is in my favor, right there. Right when it starts moving. Right in that shallow retracement and let it pull, pull me in. And that's another thing. I would let it pull you in with the DS of 8. And you can change a DS to whatever you want, or if you have a pull and bar technique that you use. Some of you guys like high, low, close dojis, all that stuff. Um, you know, whatever you want to use, or high, low, close bar for confirmation. You know, with this zones, I got it simple. You can use a DS to pull yourself in. You're good to go. All right. So the workspaces are already set up for you. Um, enjoy. Back test it all you want. I am working on a strategy for this so we can back test the zones. Um, so everybody can back test the zones uh, with every, whatever zone that you want to put in. I'm in the process of working on that as we speak also. But the indicator is plug and play. Everything's set up, and you guys are good to go.